Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to show you how to deploy a Laravel application into cloud, whether it's AWS or DigitalOcean or Linode or any such cloud providers. So in this video, we will be installing, we will be deploying our PHP 7.4 Laravel application. PHP 7.4 is just out now. So the same process you can follow for PHP 7.3 as well, which is more or less the same thing and uh, also we will be installing nginx and other required libraries to run a fresh laravel application in this video we will not be configuring any databases or cache or anything like that but maybe in a future video i could show you that so let us uh, try to install a, a, a small simple laravel application in the local first and then try to deploy it in to DigitalOcean. For this demo purpose, uh, I will be using DigitalOcean and hopefully you will have your SSH configured already. I will not be uh, showing you that. Uh, basically, you have to uh, come to your account. Uh, sorry, you have to come to the security section and add an SSH key here. So maybe you could Google around uh, with how to add a, an SSH key. I have uh, my SSH key already configured here okay let us try to install a uh, normal uh, simple application locally so i have just come to uh, the laravel releases page uh, you can see the latest version is laravel 6.8 and laravel 7 is on the way both we can we can run both on the php 7.4 uh, we will be using this uh, fresh laravel 6 version okay so let us create a fresh application here so i will simply go to my projects directory that's where i keep all my projects uh, let us create a new laravel application Laravel new deployment demo. Mm -hmm. Deployment demo. Let's wait for a moment. All right. So let's go to deployment demo and PHP artisan server. So if you check out, yeah, this fresh application is already here. So this is the application that we are going to deploy uh, with Nginx and Ubuntu uh, latest Ubuntu. Let's go to DigitalOcean. Let's create a new uh, droplet. That's what they call in DigitalOcean as droplets. In AWS, they call it as EC2 or Elastic Compute. So I'll be using uh, 18.4. That's the latest version with the cheapest option because this is just for demo purpose. And no block storage because we don't want to keep uh, data. And data center for me, I will choose Frankfurt, which is near to me. And SSH keys, uh, I will select all my SSH keys or if you want only few uh, certain SSH keys to be enabled, you can choose that here as well. And if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have SSH configured, please, uh, you know, Google uh, it around and figure out a way to configure SSH keys. As of now, I'll select my SSH key and I won't recommend choosing the one time password option because it's less secure. All right, I'll choose my SSH key here one droplet and you can choose a host name i will leave it as default because we want to make it as simple as possible i'll create the drop droplet okay so it's getting created meanwhile let us go to the nginx uh, site so let's go to nginx so it's a high performance you know the the home page is already here there is documentation if you want to check out the documentation and what we want is nginx ppa so what is a PPA? PPA is nothing but a repository because the, uh, the versions come bundled with the OS is not always uh, the latest version. So we want to have the latest version installed. So basically you have to come and add this repository and then install Nginx. So that, that's, that's what we are going to do as well. Okay, so okay, now this has been created already. So this is the IP address that we will be using. Uh, so this is the IP address of our uh, droplet. Uh, I will copy this and let me open my terminal. I will stop the current uh, server which was running already. So I will type ssh root at because that will be the default user and the IP address which we just copied which is from here which we just copied and I click enter and it is asking whether I should you know it's just confirming just yes all right now you are logged into the droplet now we want to uh, simply uh, update the existing you know software packages so type sudo apt get 
update okay now the repositories have been updated so let's upgrade sudo apt get upgrade minus y so that minus y stands for yes so in case if any questions comes up like whether i should upgrade or not uh, it will automatically press uh, yes so we just upgraded all the existing packages all right now the upgrade process has been finished let us add the nginx repository that we have copied earlier from uh, this nginx bpi so i'll just copy this and uh, paste it in the repository uh, terminal okay press enter to continue okay i pressed enter now this ppi has been added uh, let us do a refresh of our repository list as again sudo apt get update since we are already the user uh, root uh, you can see the uh, we are already root so you don't need to use sudo but i press uh, adding sudo with it but it's fine for now now let's install nginx sudo apt get install nginx uh, now nginx is getting installed all right now nginx has been installed so uh, to start nginx you can type sudo uh, service start uh, sorry sudo service nginx start okay and if you go to this ip address right now i'll copy this and i open a new tab you go here you can see the nginx welcome page so you might be wondering okay where this uh, welcome to nginx comes from it comes from our server and we are already in the server and i will show you where this html file is where this welcome to nginx so you have to go to cd uh, slash war slash triple w slash html slash uh, that's the that's a directory and if you go there you can see that there is a file called index uh, nginx type in html so if you cat it you can see uh, this welcome to nginx this file so we just installed uh, nginx in our uh, server and before continuing we have to create a new user for us 